Hey guys, John the Chambers here with Nova International. I'm at the heavy equipment show in Moncton in the Kubota booth. Here today to talk to you a little bit about the new U48 excavator that Kubota unleashed. So to kind of go over it briefly, it's going to be very similar to the O4L, but it's the next size up. Engine, hydraulic wise, are going to be similar. It's a little bit better, a little bit higher RPM, a little bit higher horsepower, a little bit more hydraulic power. Nothing significant, but enough that you're going to notice. Uh, going over some of the key features on it, much like the 057 and the U55, it does have two lines of auxiliary hydraulics instead of having one with a diverter valve. Very nice feature if you like to put a rotating bucket on or a hammer or anything like that. Uh, this one here is equipped with the Kotec uh, coupler, thumb, and bucket. Nice part about that is it's got reversible buckets on it now. It's still a wedge style, but it's a little bit different than the average wedge. So this one here, you can actually reverse your bucket. Works great for digging in close to foundations, anything like that. Uh, they do also have a two-tine tighter thumb versus the typical H&H &H style one that's going to be an exterior two-tine. Couple benefits to it. I mean, most of you that run heavy equipment, you already know the benefits and the disadvantages of it. Um, the strength of the steel is heavier. It is a higher grade steel. It's a different style tooth. So those that don't like the teeth that are come on the H and H bucket, you're really going to notice the difference on that. Moving on to the blades. So the U48s do come with a angle blade or a straight blade. That's totally up to you on which preference you prefer. The angle blade's really nice for if you're doing a lot of driveway grading, things like that, but it does stick out a few inches further. So if you're digging below you all the time, you're going to notice that. Now, the Dash 5 is a different body style. There's a lot more dark to it, a lot less orange. They did a good job making it sleek. Of course, the U-Series, it's a zero tail swing, so it's inside the track frame. So unlike the 040, the undercarriage on the U48 is the exact same as the 057 and the U55. So you're running the six ton undercarriage on essentially a five ton machine. You're going to get a lot longer lifespan out of your tracks. You're going to get a lot longer lifespan out of your undercarriage components like your rollers, your idlers, things like that. So that's a really good benefit. The only thing with it is it's wider. So you got to be careful on where you're going to go. But as many of you know, with a zero tail swing machine, you're always going to have a wider undercarriage than a conventional machine. So inside is now going to have a display screen. The nice part about the display screen is the fact that you can now log exactly what your operators are doing, how long they're in it. You can use it great for maintenance, for billing, anything like that, especially rental companies. It's going to be a big benefit for you. You can go through this. You can also adjust the flows for your hydraulics right inside this screen. It's going to be extremely convenient. You don't need to get the dealer out every time to do it anymore. A lot of people used to complain a lot about the auxiliary button to operate their thumb on a Kubota because you'd always have to reach down around you, push it on the screen in the Dash 4 models. In the Dash 5 model, it's now going to be right on your joystick. So it's extremely comfortable. You just keep going. You forget about it. Tap it. Good to go. Good safety feature that Kubota came out with. I really like the layout of it now because a lot of operators are going to be extremely happy with that feature. The cab itself, the cab's going to be a little bit bigger than the 040. Not a lot, but a little bit. So you're talking about an inch or two in the doorway to get in. The seat's going to be more comfortable. It's going to be able to adjust more. You can pull it back a little bit more, give yourself a little bit more leg room. As everyone knows, fatigue's a bad thing in a machine. If you're getting tired, you're not operating well. If you're comfy, and you're wide awake and you're ready to go, your operation skills are going to be much better. Uh, foot room, there is a little bit more foot room. And the pedals, they did advance the style of the pedal a little bit. The nice part about the pedal now is you can actually comfortably sit there with your feet on it and use your heels to back up. The older style ones, you had a hard time using your heel, you don't have to move your feet. For someone that's an experienced operator that likes to use their feet to run their tracks and their hands to keep on the sticks, it's going to be a big benefit for you. Uh, this machine is also equipped with the iDig system. We're gonna do another video on the iDig system. That way there you can get a real good feel for it because it's, it's a pretty advanced system and it is capable of going on almost all of our Kubota machines. So it's something that you may wanna look into. Um, other than that, the cab itself, like I said, it's a little more roomy, a little more operator friendly. 
and the visibility is going to be quite a bit nicer. They have a lot more glass in it. I know a lot of you are always nervous about glass because glass breaks. But if you're a proper operator and you're keeping your stuff away from you, you're not going to have to worry about that. The visibility is going to be a really key feature for you because as everyone knows, it's not the easiest to look out of these things sometimes. And a lot of people don't know how to be around on a job site around a piece of gear. So if you can see them, that's going to be a big safety feature for you. Now, the outside of the cab, right down here, is going to be a holder for your grease gun. Very handy, you should always be greasing your machine every day. All right guys, so on the back, they do have a camera now. Everyone knows cameras are a great feature in a lot of these machines because you always have a blind spot from about here to here. Having that's going to definitely help you when you're backing up. If you're in a tight area and you can't quite swing. And the camera does show up right on your display screen in the cab. So it's going to be a nice good size. I believe it's seven inches. Um, so inside here, I mean, obviously you can tell with the new machine versus the older machines, they do have a lot more dark on them now versus the orange. It's a much sleeker look, more modern. Inside the back, as always, Kubota has been very good with doing this. You have all your filters right here, extremely easily accessible. Your oil dipsticks, your antifreeze, everything is right here. They do a very good job at this. Nice part is maintenance. You can do a lot of the maintenance yourself. You can have the dealer come to you and do the maintenance, or you can go to the dealer and do the maintenance. Nice part about having it all accessible like that, it's quick. Everyone knows that downtime's a killer, so the sooner we can get you in and get you back out, the better for you. All right, guys, so that's a quick briefing on the Kubota U48. We can do a little more in-depth someday out in the field, get a good video for you. You can really get to see the performance of it. I know that's something that a lot of viewers like to see and actually get to hear some response from some guys that have been running them for a few hours now. So with that, let's jump over to one of our other units here at the construction shell. Thanks for watching.